Hey there everybody, I'm the Lonely Hunter and this right here is Transformers Fall of Cybertron multiplayer. I decided to play some of it again because, you know, it was a request from a friend and why not, why not jump in this game, why not go and try the multiplayer since I have beaten the single player portion of it and I really loved it. Well, the thing that I regret is that I skipped the multiplayer portion of War for Cybertron initially when I bought it because, you know, there weren't so many people playing it and uh, I got it pretty late, so I decided to just throw it away after playing the campaign. But uh, this run right here, I didn't want to neglect it. I didn't want to pass on the multiplayer, I wanted to enjoy the most of it. And uh, I have to say that it is a really pleasant surprise to see that the multiplayer portion of this game is really balanced. And you know, there aren't many mistakes that somebody can notice in this particular multiplayer portion. Because, you know, the modes are fun, there is also a mode kinda like Kill Confirmed, which uh, is named Headhunter, and there are other casual modes like Team Deathmatch, like Capture the Flag and all that good stuff. So, you know, you have plenty of things to grind, and uh, you have plenty of classes, and the core of this game, the real power of this game is customization. You can tweak every little bit of your transformer to make it unique, and uh, you have many color themes, you have many, you have many things to tweak like equipment, like arms, legs, armory and stuff. So there is a lot to do with this game, there is a lot. If you are that type of guy who likes to customize his characters, if you are coming from an RPG scene, then you will like this game because, you know, you can create your own robot the way you want it, the way you like it. But, you know, it will still have to follow some kind of faction, it will still have to follow some kind of category. So this is a thing about this game, the balance. The balance that uh, exists in this game is really great because, you know, whichever path you choose, you are equal to other robots because you have your strengths and your weaknesses. You can be a really valuable member to your team just because you're doing your job as a category. And many people tend to like the scientist just because it can help others heal and just because he is kind of agile and he has a balanced gun but uh, you know other classes should be used as well because they are doing more damage or they have other abilities that are important as well so i have to say that you know this balance that exists between the classes is really great for that game it is beneficial and uh, many people didn't go into that game too much just because it was a licensed game well, uh, you know the problem about licensed game. The developers and the studios depend on the license, depend on, you know, on the thing that this game is famous on, the thing that this game has a huge following and they base their sales on it and they don't do anything about the game, they don't offer any support on the game. But uh, with this game it is different. Developers saw that people loved the game initially, saw that people played the first game a lot, so they decided to show some love to this game and made it better. And you know, they fixed some mistakes and they are continuously offering some support to this game. They have released some DLC, some skins. Well, for me, I wouldn't buy those skins just because I am not that type of guy who wants something cosmetic that is extra. I don't pay for a cosmetic advantage to my game, even though, you know, I have a custom transformer right here. I have, you know, I have tweaked some things, but that's it. It is enough for me. I am doing enough with the customization. I don't want, I don't want to have an Insecticon or a Dinobot. I just want to have the casual transformer, but just tweak the colors a bit so... For me, it is enough customization. But uh, apart from that, you know, licensed games have been really shitty and you can look wherever you want to the big series. But there have been some little exceptions that uh, made licensed games sign. For example, the Batman games have been really great. You know, Arkham Asylum has been a masterpiece and then Arkham City followed it. And uh, there is basically kinda like a similar story right here. While Arkham Asylum became a hit while it released the game of the year edition while everybody loved it you saw that rocksteady just received the love from the people and uh, they decided to put it into a game in a really great way just improving in every part of the game and just making it a really better game so this happened right here but you know not that this game is open world not that this game has too many fancy stuff but this game is really solid and uh, by that i mean when you finish the campaign, you have the escalation mode to grind yourself, you have something like uh, there is in Gears of War, you know, like the horde mode where you 
while you face so many enemies and uh, you have to reach to the highest level possible but apart from that if you don't want to grind then you can try out multiplayer which as I said before is a portion of the game that I really like and while you get into the multiplayer then you realize that uh, it's not only about killing it's not about you know getting most kills in a game it's not only that to give your team victory it's about you know getting the assists as well it's about healing your friends it's about supporting your team and uh, this shows because you know if you are an ultra aggressive player you will not get as rewarded as being a team player so this adds to the game as well because there are not many people kill whoring there is a collective approach to multiplayer and this is a really good thing i like also the power-ups have a really good placement and uh, i have to say that you know ammo and health power-ups are balanced around the maps and i love the way you get to regenerate your health you get to earn some ammo just by replenishing it while you pick up that power-up because you know power ups should be there to help you when you run out of ammo so let's say you are on a big kill streak let's say that you are on a roll and uh, you really need to maintain that so you will need the health you will need the ammo and if you don't have a teammate that is a scientist next to you then you will need any help possible and the game gives you that help so you have to find it around the map so this is the tricky thing that you don't get to camp in these maps just because you have to find those power-ups and get them just to be ready for action just to be ready to face another enemy so this is what the game does right progressively challenging you this is it guys i hope you like this gameplay i hope you enjoyed it i am out guys peace